Hey man, that's me to hear North Dallas. <laughs> <laughs>
don't know scared the hell out of me. <laughs> she in a trapped out bando trying to see yeah. who you got over there. Yeah, absolutely. True story. Damn. Yeah. Finding some rugged ass women. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she don't know what was in there. Right. In the bandit building. She went there like a like a G. Damn. Where was she from? Detroit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm from, Word. Detroit. Bro, Detroit is taking over the movie game. Yes, yes, absolutely. Like, what, what's, what's, the, what's this new spark that's making everybody get creative? I see a lot of collaborations happening too. Right, absolutely. Yeah, you know, you don't really get to see a whole lot from Detroit. It's so much talent, so much art and black culture there, but you know, it's like, it's overshadowed mm -hmm. by the violence and the bullshit. Yeah, true. Like, but I am seeing that people are branching out and networking with each other and Swapping roles and all, because if you go on Tubi, it's all the movies, the best ones, the best hood movies is out of Detroit. Out of Detroit. Right yes, now. Detroit. Got the title right now. Hey, we got the title. We taking oh, over. Oh, we been sneaking to Atlanta for shooting movies. Yeah, yeah, we have, we hey, have, we have. have. <laughs> we have. <laughs> I know. Rough, I love that. Hey, we we appreciate it. I mean, Detroit is definitely taking over the film game, and as far as Tubi is concerned, right. and uh, and we out here just trying to make it happen. You know, you have so many filmmakers out of Detroit that's uh, doing their thing, for Shout sure. Some of them out. I know you partners with them. Oh, absolutely. Lisa Brown. Shout out she, to Lisa, Lisa Brown, you know, she has a show on uh, Tubi called uh, The Dirty D, yeah. which is the number one show on Tubi. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Little yeah, little yeah. series, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we got McGraw Avenue. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, we got Dennis Reed, you know, that's doing some things. So. You know, it's a lot of people just doing their thing. Janaea Black, yeah. so, you know. What would you say to somebody who's never been to Detroit, never got the experience? Because, like, as a person, I've been going to Detroit since I was, like, 12, 13 years old. No, since I was, first time I went to Detroit, I maybe was four or five. Okay. I had a lot of family up in, in, in Flint. Okay. In Detroit and, and Lansing and right. just all, Albion. Yeah. So all up and through Michigan and shit like that. So what would you say to the people who never got the experience? Because Detroit, one of them cities, when they know you ain't from that, man, right. they make sure that you good. They show you the most love, but if your ass is wrong. You're going to have a problem. Oh, you're going to have a problem. <laughs> they they going to stay on your ass. They right. on your ass. They stay there, absolutely. Yeah. But I would say if you haven't been to Detroit, come to Detroit because there's so much going on. It's a lot of misconceptions a lot of about what's, ab absolutely, about what Detroit is about. But Detroit is a good town. It's a great town. It definitely is. So come see us in Detroit. Most definitely. Yeah, we'll treat you like family. Most definitely. <laughs> Every time we hit that Fox Theater, bro. Yeah. Some characters. Yeah, man. yeah. The city come out and they show love. Absolutely. And we know how to dress. And I, I know you didn't see in Detroit. Man. You know with that. The, well, with the gators know. and the. Uh, man, what's that crazy <laughs> ass judge that look like Cap Kelly? Strong. Strong. <laughs> he never misses a show. And you right. know he going to have on an orange ass man. Right, exactly. A loud ass lime green suit. Exactly. Everybody in Detroit know him and he's yeah. a real ass judge. Right, true. He That's is. Crazy. You'll be able to pick him from a crowd for yeah, sure. I, I, you just knew exactly what I was talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's legendary. Know. Yeah. Because he come to the show, this dude look exactly like Cab Calloway. Yeah, <laughs> he does. I asked you earlier, how did you get into the film business and did you ever see yourself in it? And we skipped over it. So tell me how it came about. Well, it, be, it came about because uh, I wanted to write about something about myself, you know, something that I could relate to. So that's how I came up with the a concept for Why Do Men Cheat? And uh, I felt like since I watch movies, I could make one. Mm. So, uh, and that's what I did. You know, I set out to make that happen. And I also uh, enlisted a director named uh, Ken Baker Jr. And, uh, you know, he helped me put everything together. I reached out to some friends of mine because I have uh, Pepper, I mean, uh, Pepper from Salt and Pepper in there. I have uh, Sherry Johnson from Family Matters, okay. Damon Williams is yeah, in there, comedian from Chicago. right, and uh, Alex Thomas also. Yeah, comedian from L.A. Right. So I see what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So and I got to get you in a movie. Most definitely. I yeah. Seen it. I'm in it. Okay. All you had to do was say it. I've been saying on this shit for weeks. Right. I've been breaking to the Tubi movie. Hey, hey, come on. Come on, we're going to be in the most hood shit ever. That's right. what you said, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're better than me because, because, what, you went to school, nigga? <laughs> right. I write my own shit. Right, there you go. There exactly. you go. But yeah, we got to get you in something, for sure. Yeah, 
I was yeah. coming to Detroit. Okay. The safe part. I might oh, have to be out. Oh, yeah. All the hills and stuff. As long as you with us, you safe any part. Any nigga from Detroit say that. No, that's that's the <laughs> truth. Hey, no, that ain't. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, we, we got your back 100%. Nah, I would love to because there's a lot of game that I got to get from you because you okay. know, I'm working on my movie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Me and my lady writing a movie right now and shit. Okay. And it's, it's real dope. Let's I collaborate. Let's man. make it happen. Got my oh, partner over not there. Not all in your business, but nothing. But you know, it's a lot of people who may be watching this. Right. Want to know how did you finance your film, and, and who are the people that you got in touch with to bring the vision all together? Well, it was my own money, actually. Talk your shit. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> right, right, right. It was my own money. I put all. I I bet on myself. Right. You know what I mean. So. It paid off. Yeah, and it paid off. Now Absolutely. Let me give a warning to the people who may be watching this. You know, <laughs> Right. Why do you mean cheat? Yeah. What can we expect from it? Well, uh, it's on Tubi. You know, you can definitely watch Why Do Men Cheat on Tubi. So uh, you can you can see it there. Right. And uh, I'm also working on a uh, television series, okay. you know, with my partner, uh, Bill McKinney. It's called Six Mile. And it's about the streets of Detroit. Yeah. And we're doing that with uh, Lisa Brown, who has the number one show on Tubi now. Right. So it's a collaboration, like you said earlier. A lot of us are working together. Have you worked so. with any of those comedians out of Detroit? Because Detroit got some funny ass dudes. Absolutely. Right? Downtown Tony Brown. Come on, man. The legend. Yeah, I can take you back. The legend. Yeah, Coco, Foolish. Yeah, Foolish. yeah. Go yes, on, absolutely. That's my partner. Yeah, That's Martini dog, Harris. Yeah. You know, so many of them. Yeah, we definitely Tony have, have worked. Tony Roberts, Come absolutely. On. Yeah. Jay Will. Yeah, there you go. Jay Will. Yeah. Yes, yes. Kool -Aid. Yeah, Kool Aid. Yeah, he was a funny dude. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, well, that's dope. you going to come out with the Why the Women Cheat? Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Don't let nobody beat you to the punch. Hey, women cheat more than men. They just know how to keep it yeah. quiet. Cause ain't nobody gonna tell them. Exactly. There you go. And women can agree. It's a lot of women in they here. Not agree, you see, they quiet. The they ain't saying they nothing. To the code. <laughs> they ain't saying nothing. She, she got her phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's cold, man. So, what would you say to the up and coming filmmakers or people who got an idea? Or your shit, the next Leno might be sitting at home on some million dollar shit, just don't know what to do with it. Hey, reach out to us. We can help you. We can make it happen for you. How can but I was, uh, they can hit us on social media at a Six Mile TV series. We're on IG. Okay. I'm yeah, Six Mile TV right series. Now. Absolutely. I want people to see that when we on here and we talking shit, we ain't just saying shit to be saying shit. Not I at all. I tell you to go follow somebody. I wouldn't follow them. Yeah, there so you I go. I want you to link it in right here on, in front of them. I will definitely do that. And put me in 16 Tubi movies in a row. All right. <laughs> I got you. I got you. We're going to make that happen. I play a detective. Okay. Oh, you? Okay. I definitely play a detective. Tell us what we want to know. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you are, right there. All right, there it is. That's that Six Mile TV series. Like okay. I said, it's about the streets of Detroit. It's real. You know, it's definitely real, and uh, people definitely going to enjoy it. Hold on. That's it right there? Yep, that's it. Somebody sent me something right then. Right here? Yep, there you go. All right, bet. Yep, absolutely. <clears throat> well, look, man, I ain't gonna hold you too long. We gotta go over here and talk about these movies we about to do. Okay, so right. Yeah, we gotta do that. Let them know to check out Why the Men Cheat. Yes, make sure you check it out on Tubi. You know, right now, today, and you'll find out why men cheat. It's funny, it's serious, but it uh, definitely is a message to it. Most definitely, man. And For what, sure. What's your next joint you gonna drop? Six Mile, the TV series. Okay. That is it. Make sure you check that out as well. Well, look here, man. You never know who's going to stop through the black market and chop it up with us. So you stay tuned. My man Delano Glass, we out here. 85 South. Black market, baby. <laughs> and let the yes. blessings be abundant. Yes, yes.